hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and you can see I just got thrown on the losing side of an empty team in a search and destroy game, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the new PS4 controller photos that, that were released. I thought I'd talk about them, what they mean, what we know so far, and let's get going. Alright, so this is the controller, and you might prefer watching this in 1080p, but that's up to you, doesn't matter to me. There's a couple things we can notice on this right away. <laughs> you know, the first and the most obvious is the display right in the middle. They're calling that a touch-sensitive LCD. You can't know for sure, right? Sony's issued their, their familiar song, you know, we can't comment on rumors and news or whatever. But, um, but that is it. That's what it looks like. And... It looks like it's going to be a touch sensor display like, like you might have on your phone, which would be pretty cool. I'm a little worried about how developers will use it, right? You know, it, it's not the kind of precision control that we're used to with mechanical buttons. Anyone who's played on their iPhone knows that half the challenge is the inaccurate controls, right? Like if you were to play Call of Duty on an iPhone, I think you would just rage constantly because you meant to shoot that. You know your aim is better. They, they, there's, It's just the, the input is bad, right? But... There are other things you can do with it. I mean, you can see that it replaces the start and select buttons. That's easy enough to do, right? It doesn't take a lot of precision to do those. You can add information that's not there before, you know? Like, I wouldn't want things I look at all the time. For example, the Call of Duty bullet count, you know, how much you've got left in your gun. I don't want to look down at my controller to see that. But if you can incorporate things like maps in there, then I'm very much interested in, in what you can do for me. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Game developers will have to be creative to figure out what information belongs on the controller. But, gosh, you know, I, there have to be some great ideas and things that we can do with it. And, by the way, this isn't something that I've seen rumored on Microsoft's controller. So, you know, this could be a competitive advantage for the Sony guys, which would be interesting to me. So, yeah. The other thing, of course, you see on there is that blue light, that move controller thing. And uh, I don't know how they're going to use that. I really don't have any ideas or, or any clue. Normally with the move, you've got sort of two nunchucks in your hands and they can see how they go. Is there really going to be a single controller move thing that you've got going on there that you, I don't know, bowl with? Maybe, maybe, you know, I, I can't be sure, but, um, but they're definitely, you know, keeping the move thing alive and it looks like the technology, the sort of lighted thing that they're doing as opposed to what Microsoft does, which is the, the camera based contrast thing is, uh, is going to live on through the next PS4. So that's interesting too. Of course, you've probably noticed the ridges on the thumbsticks. This is a prototype. That doesn't mean a whole lot. You know, they might just be floating ideas, putting stuff out there. Uh, there's there's things in this that look really unfinished that I'm going to show you in, in another picture that you can see a whole lot better. But the fact that the thumbsticks are not the dome that you've grown accustomed to doesn't mean that the final version isn't going to be the dome that you're not accustomed to. What's happened is Sony has started shipping the development kits out there and I'm not sure that silver thing might be a development kit PS4 and that of course has nothing to do with what your PS4 will look like it's just what developers have so that they can have games on release day for you and this controller is the same sort of thing they're giving this controller to developers so they can figure out how things play and um, you know they get ready for release day so the thing has some cool titles uh, on the day that it comes out but yeah at least they're practicing or they're they're experimenting with different thumbstick designs than just the traditional dome, which is a shame because I actually like the dome. I, uh, you know, scuff or whatever. I I have a scuff controller, and I get the domes on both my sticks because that's my preference. I I actually like the PS4 sticks better than the Xbox sticks, but that's just me. Your mileage may vary. All right, next picture. Now this looks like a different controller, and I know it's blocking the gameplay, but I think a lot of people want to see it. It looks like a different controller, but it's not. It is the same one. It might be not the exact same one, but it's the same model that, that the other one was. It's just the other one was tipped forward in such a way that the sort of longer handles for your hands looked different. But I've, I've <laughs> I studied the two pictures really carefully, and they're the same. They're, they're, they're no different than, than each other. Anyway, so here's another view of it. And the one thing that you can see in this that you, well, there's a couple things you can see this that you can't see in the other one. But first and foremost, the headphone jack. If you look in the bottom center, right under the PlayStation button, you know, between the two thumbsticks, you can see a headphone jack and I assume it's a four pole headphone slash microphone jack and uh, that's interesting to me that jack wasn't there on the ps3 and because of that 
perhaps is the reason that the the voices and the just, the voices are bad on the PS3, right? I I, I don't want to bag on anybody's system, but I think we can all kind of just get on board with the fact that uh, the PS3 voices aren't very good. There's a couple reasons that could be. Uh, it could be a limitation of Bluetooth, and they decided to use whatever the controllers use instead. I don't know if it's still Bluetooth, or it could be that. Um, the nature of Bluetooth microphones just often suck. Like people were using free things that they just had laying around that were Bluetooth, maybe from a cell phone giveaway or something. But for whatever reason, people tend to sound better on the Xbox than they did on the PS3 in the current generation. Well, the next one, you're going to be able to plug in your mic. And yeah, hopefully that means that, uh, that we're going to have a whole lot better audio on the PS4 than we did on the PS3. You know, maybe it'll be better than the Xbox. So we'll see. It doesn't really matter. But um, it'll be nice if they can make good use of this headphone jack and get something out of it. There's also two other things. I don't know what to make of these. Here, I'll show you. It's difficult to tell if these are buttons, if they're just sort of some leftover from the manufacturing process, or if it's something that's like left to come, like a placeholder for a button you know, that, that we haven't seen yet. But, um, but, you know, they are definitely there, and I'm not sure what they are. There are rumors that the new PS3 is going to have a button that allows you to record your gameplay. It's supposed to have a built-in DVR, PBR, game capture card, whatever you want to call it, that lasts for 15 minutes. We'll see. You know, I, I don't know. Could that be them? It's hard to say. The, the reports I read, they act like, oh, the buttons aren't there to start and stop your gameplay recording. And I think, well, you know, it's a prototype controller, you know, let's wait and see whether or not that rumor turns out to be true or false. But, um, yeah, it's... There's something there, and we don't know what it is yet, so uh, well, it's kind of interesting anyway. To those of you that like to follow gaming console news. So that's it. That's what the controller looks like that's being shipped to the people who are making the game right now. I'm kind of psyched about it. It looks like, in terms of features, the PS4 controller is better than the stuff we've seen from the Xbox 360, but we'll see. It's not, uh, it's not out yet. On February 20th, we'll know a ton more. If you like the video, be sure to give it a like. If you're interested in PS4 news or Xbox news, there's a playlist on the left where I cover all the new rumors that are coming out for every console all the time. Steambox 2. On the right uh, is a video I made. <laughs> Everything is cooler in slow motion. And uh, check that out. Hopefully you like it and give it a like. The thing needs more likes. But um, check those out. Have a good day.